Hey good people, uh, Mark from Vintage Audio Nagoya and we're going to do a real simple and quick demo of this Murano Echo Chamber T-4 brought to you by Hawk Technical Works in Tokyo and if you're not familiar with Hawk, it's one of my personal favorite Japanese brands I mean they just make such beautiful equipment uh, I've got a reverb tank up uh, on my site right now made by Hawk also but they just, their attention to detail and the quality of the build is second to none uh, I don't know why they didn't become more popular but uh, take a look at the pictures I have on reverb of this it's a solid wood cabinet and again that just the build quality and the wire choice and the electronics everything is just absolutely top-notch with these units so let's turn this on and uh, get it rolling here check, 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 check. Uh, what we've got is four main head selectors here now there's normally two screws in this panel, and uh, I've taken the screws out, and this is just sitting in there for the time being. So we'll take that off and uh, allow you to see these heads a little bit better. So uh, right now, we are it's just acting as a preamp, but we can control the input volume and uh, the output volume here and control our tone, which is hard to tell much difference in my voice, but there's a significant tone difference when you're... Uh, playing the instrument through it. I'm noticing that uh, it looks like there's some white uh, something on this roller here and actually it's just unfortunate uh, reflection of my lighting source so uh, that both of those rollers are are beautiful gloss black and clean it's just uh, oddly just the way it's reflecting so uh, there there we go it's a little less annoying maybe that way okay well anyway let's get started with it uh, here's <laughs> one and uh, this is repeat and swell through this area and super repeat up on up here one and then each each head is controlled individually two 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 Two, 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 two. As you can see, it'll oscillate out uh, without any difficulties at all. Check, 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 uh, the fourth one, I don't, this is the first one of these that I've ever had. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any response at the second notch of the fourth head. Fourth head, fourth head, fourth head but because it's the fourth head, I wonder if there isn't a swell possibility. Check, 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 check. Because really, we need a second head in play for the swell to take effect. So it might be that that never worked in this in this position, but I don't really know that. But uh, this machine is not giving anything in this position. But again, my gut feeling is that you need a second head in order to get a swell. And because it's the fourth head, it wouldn't have that option. Okay, anyway, here we are. Uh, now, you can select any of these individually, or you can add any combination of these heads. Check. And uh, let's just do one. Oh, crap. Let me get a little carried away here. Uh, one plus two. Three. Three. Four. 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 One, one and three, two and three, just two, check, 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 just three, just, 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 one and three, check, check, two and three, two and three, four, two, two, one so uh there's so many possibilities here uh you know any combination of these like i mentioned will will give you a different sound and then play with your depth and play with your amount of repeats and uh check 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 check
Check, 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 check. And then, of course, we have speed control. Check, 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 two and three, check, 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 anyway, we can't even go through all the possibilities there, but uh, I just want to give you a quick idea about this thing. Uh, I really like this, and uh, again, it's the first one I've ever had an opportunity to get. They don't come around very often in Japan, and the prices are really high over here. So uh, I'm going to put this up, but I kind of deep down want to keep this. <laughs> and it's bothered me even, even thinking about listing it. But uh, it's going up, but it's not going to be cheap. Uh, if it doesn't sell, I'm going to be fine with that. Uh, this is my new favorite tape echo by far. I mean, this thing is super cool. Uh, so... Uh, but anyway, thanks for checking it out. Uh, I'll just take a few videos of the backside and around and uh, uh, let you check it out. But take a good look at the pictures that I put on the reverb ad. Uh, I think they give a pretty good uh, idea of what it looks like. Okay, thanks for checking it out. Stay safe. I didn't mention it, but it comes with uh, two tapes, uh, two tape loops. That uh, the original that was on it, and then another one that I've made for it. And I'll throw in an eight-track tape that will give you countless loops that you could make from that eight-track tape. It's the same uh, same tape that comes in the machine, so you can just cut it to length and uh, again make you know I don't know how many out of that tape eight-track tape, but an awful lot. Okay, there it is. Look at it. Oh my God. Uh, and again, with the cover on, it even looks better. And with the cover screwed on, it even looks better because we got a couple of chrome screws there. Oh, I love it.